taking a look at my newest project. It's 2008 Pontiac G5. Front end damage. Needs a hood, a bumper. It was raining when I was inspecting it at the insurance auction. So I'm going to give it a first start. That sounds like a uh, um, actuator door trying to open in the heating and air conditioning system. Check engine lights on. Let me shuffle some cars around here. I need to move the... I need to move this car in order to pull this one under the carport. Have the wrecked side facing the other direction. So let me let me shuffle some cars and uh, get to it. All right, so I move the blue car out of the way. I'm gonna pull this one around and park it in here. Yeah, it looks like the paint's not in the greatest shape, but. Actually, it runs, uh, it runs pretty good. So I'm gonna do a, a code scan and all that. I don't really have time to, um, to uh, check the over car over real good. I was trying to get underneath the carport. All right, so my game plan is to remove this hood and uh, put it on my 2009 Chevy Cobalt so I can go to the wrecking yard and I can transport the new hood easily. Um, I could hook up the trailer and get the hood back from the wrecking yard that way, but this way is just super easy. It's gonna take five minutes to remove the hood and um, it's just it's just easier that way so let me pull this hood off and straighten it out enough to make it shut and then uh, slap it on that car and I'll be ready to go first thing I like doing is removing the bolts and then saving the hood strip for last because that helps keep everything in place let me give this a quick shove Oh yeah, those uh, those hinges are bent pretty bad. It has four 13 millimeter bolts. Throw the spare hood on real quick, just in case I can't get back to uh, putting the new one on today. I don't want um, I don't want any dirt or debris to get in here. So the gaps don't line, line up that bad. All right, let me get the hood off my car real quick. And then I'll head to the right here. Not trying to 
trying to make it pretty, I'm just trying to make it fit a little bit better. So that looks completely ugly, but it'll get me there. And then, like I said, when I get to the wrecking yard, I can uh, I can swap it out with the other black hood. Last thing I'm going to do is take off the pieces of bumper that are hanging on and uh, bring that for the core charge. Because believe it or not, they charge a uh, core charge for um, plastic bumpers. So I'll remove that just to get rid of it. Less garbage. Actually, it doesn't look too bad with a white hood. All right, let's get to the wrecking yard and we'll take it from there. So at the pig a pole this weekend is 40% off everything. So that'll make this rebuild even cheaper.